Hello friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry 1. Myself, lecturer Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, MPAM in Quality Assurance and lecturer in KKVAG Institute of Pharmacy, Chandori. So, today we are going to deal with identification test. Experiment number 21. Title of the experiment to perform and report identification test on given sample of ferrous sulphate as per Indian Pharmacopoeia. So, first of all, let's start with learning objective. First is intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of experiment. Motor skill to identify the physical property to observe the solubility in the water and different solvent to observe the precipitation form in the test solution. Now, let's start with new concept regarding identification test. Proposition first. Organoleptic description. It is the information in respect of nature, odor and taste of the drug. Proposition 2. Solubility. Statement of the solubility are indicated by descriptive term and are intended to apply at 20 degree to 30 degree Celsius. The following table indicates the meaning of term that is used in the statement of approximate solubility. Descriptive term very soluble that means it will be soluble in less than 1 ml of solvent. Freely soluble means it is soluble in 1 ml to 10 ml of solvent. Soluble 1 gram of solute is dissolved in 10 to 30 ml of solvent. Sparingly soluble 1 gram is dissolved from 30 to 100 ml of solvent. Slightly soluble means it is dissolved from 100 to 1000 ml of solvent. Very slightly soluble means 1 gram of solute dissolved from 1000 to 10,000 ml of solvent. And insoluble or practically insoluble means it will be soluble in more than 10,000 ml of solvent. So let's start with proposition 3 identification test. These are the tests to verify that the article being examined is in accordance with the label on the container. That means failure of an article taken from the labeled container to meet the require of prescribed identification test indicated that the article may be mislabeled or substituted. And these identification tests are not necessarily sufficient to establish the absolute proof of identity. Pharmaceutical category hematinic ferrous sulfate is hematinic in nature. So, general concept structure, first of all, start with description of the drug, then check the solubility in different solvent and perform identification test as per Indian pharmacopoeia. After performing all these tests, we got the sample, whether it is complies or does not comply the test as per IP. So, now Apparatus used for the practical glasswares are test tube and graduated pipette and chemicals, alcohol 95%, ferrous sulfate, barium chloride, iodine solution, stannous chloride, dilute HCl, potassium ferricyanide, sodium hydroxide solution, potassium ferricyanide, dilute sulfuric acid, 0.1% weight by volume of 110 phenanthrolene and 0.1 M1 molar seric ammonium sulfate. So for the actual practical we move towards laboratory. From pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory. Today we are going to deal with identification test. Today's our topic is title is to perform identification test on given sample of ferrous sulfate. This is our sample which is bluish green in color, crystalline powder and almost odorless. Now let's start with solubility. For that we have to take sample approximately 0.2 to 0.3 gram then check solubility into water. In water it is freely soluble. Now check the solubility in 95% ethanol, take sample and add 95% ethanol. 
मैं इनसे एक दो सौ मिनट लेते हैं। इन इथेनॉल इट इज प्रैक्टिकली इनसोल्यूबल। नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट फर्स्ट टेस्ट डिजॉल्व जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम ऑफ सैंपल टेक सैंपल इंटू टू एम एल ऑफ वॉटर After addition of 0.1 ml of 0.1 percent phenolphthalein solution, intense red color precipitate is obtained. Now next test, take one milligram of sample. Then add one ml of potassium pyrimidine solution. A dark blue color is obtained after addition of potassium ferricyanide and which is insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid. Next test, take 5 mg of sample and add 1 ml of potassium ferricyanide solution into it. After addition of potassium ferricyanide, we got white colored precipitate. Now next step, take 5 mg of sample, then add 5 ml of water. Again add 1 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid. After addition of barium chloride, we got white color precipitate. Next test, take sample, then add 5 ml of water and lead acetate solution, 2 ml of lead acetate solution. A dense white precipitate is produced after addition of lead acetate. 
next test this is the solution uh, which is obtained from uh, test c in this solution the yellow colored suspension is remain constant for decolorization uh, it by adding stannous chloride solution in this solution we will add stannous chloride solution drop wise there is decolorization of yellow color now after performing the practical we move towards observation table first of all description nature crystalline powder color white or colorless and odor odorless that means it complies the test as per indian pharmacopeia then check solubility behavior in water and alcohol in water it is freely soluble and in alcohol it is practically insoluble that means it complies the test as per indian pharmacopeia now identification test test a it gives intense red color is produced that means it complies the test as per ip for ferrous ion test b a dark blue precipitate is formed that means it complies the test as per ip for ferrous ion Test C a white precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per IP for sulfate ions. Test D a white precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per IP for sulfate ions. Test E no colored precipitate is produced means it complies the test as per IP for sulfate ions and test F a white precipitate is produced that means it complies the test as per indian pharmacopeia for sulfate ions so move towards result part the given sample of ferrous sulfate complies the test a b c d e and f for identification test as per ip feso4 that means ferrous sulfate gives fe plus 2 plus so4 Minus two ions. Pharmaceutical category of ferrous sulfate is hematinic. It is used in to treat anemia. Thank you, dear student, for attending and watching this video. Thank you.